Welcome back everyone to episode 6 of Let's Play Atlantic Fleet, Battle of the Atlantic as Germany. And we're, like, at the end of the last episode, we all remember, hopefully, that we were going to be engaging these two destroyers with our two submarines in the Mediterranean. So let's just get that under underway. Alright, so let's look at the map. Looks like, uh, <laughs> we are facing... Okay, well, this is a good position for us. Let's just angle about 10 degrees in. Hopefully we're currently unspotted. The weather looks favorable for the destroyers. Let's even go 15 degrees, because I guess we're going to want to launch these torpedoes almost right away. I'll even go 20. Yeah, not quite yet. Let's wait one turn just to see, are they moving straight, or what's... Oh! We have one bomber actually available. Oh my gosh, well who should use it is the question. Okay, here is... no. How do I get you? There. Okay, so you are probably in a better position to engage the Alpha. But we're both technically in a position to engage the Vanessa. I think we hold off on the airstrike currently. Yeah, I think we hold off for one turn. So this is good. Let's get done here. If they start engaging us, then we know we're going to use airstrike immediately. But um, I'd like to let our torpedoes lead the way. So you're going to do the same, very similar. Probably 20 degrees. Let's only have you go full, though. In which case, I actually want you to go 25 degrees, because you have a... Well, 30. You have a lot of turning to do. You're facing just entirely the wrong direction. So 30 at full. Didn't get us quite where we want to go, but we'll wait one turn. Let's see, how do they react? They are moving all, so that means... Hmm, what does that mean? It means that we're going to be in good position to not even need to use our air force, I think. Um, so they're basically... They could keep turning towards us, though, so let's go to full. And just 5 degrees... No, let's just head straight. Okay, move. Yeah. So, let's um, lock onto the Vanessa. We just want to move in this direction, but we'll wait one more turn. We don't know what they're doing as far as... Okay, and now you're actually in a good position. So let's leave you here. Go full. Just move straight ahead. Yeah. Okay, they are continuing their turn towards the left which does put us in this kind of dangerous situation where they're actually heading right at us. So let's go 20 degrees starboard to try to get ahead of the curve here. Move. And at 3, that we almost have to launch torpedoes already. The problem is we have no idea which direction they're going to move. This is the serious disadvantage of trying to launch torpedoes with a destroyer when they're um, head, head on with you. So I think I'm actually just going to wait. I have to wait. I can get down to like 2,000 yards and still be able to launch torpedoes successfully. So we'll have to roll the dice and just see if that's the best situation or not. I'm going to head straight. Just They could turn back towards me, so I don't want to do any... Let's just head exactly the way we're going and see what happens. So, done. Okay, they kind of moved a mess straight-ish. Oh, gosh, they're headed right at me. Well, let's launch torpedoes now, and then we'll use airstrike next turn. So, we're going to move 10 degrees to port. We're basically dead on with them. Fire all the torpedoes. Uh, we might even hit them before... We might not even need a turn. These just might immediately hit. So, let's see what we're doing here. We want one, like, probably, okay, we're going to want 357, 359, 3.9.3, and then something like this, I guess. Just, the, again, the same bracketing thing, so that no matter where, what they do, we should get at least one, hopefully two hits off. Yeah. The only, 
Yeah, okay, let's just do it. Torpedoes away. Does that hit immediately? Yeah, two of them hit, so it's already sinking. Okay, good enough. That is good enough. So we, it looks like we're going to sink both of these destroyers very easily. I'll actually try to minimize the number of torpedoes we use. So, how far away? I didn't, I haven't been tracking the diffa, the offa, sorry. Hmm. Let's go flank speed and just the rare hopeful hope that we somehow can hit these torpedoes before the offa turns away. Oh, well, and then we hit done. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a mistake. And those torpedoes are going to miss. Okay, so we have... I don't know what she's doing. Let's keep moving in the direction we're going. More or less. Turn towards a little bit. And this is the probably the best time for us to do our, our airstrike. Which are with bombs. Bombers with bombs. And that's my favorite thing. Okay, now let's head into the wind. So I'm going to want to head like so. And since the bombs are going to push it backwards a little bit, let's actually... Initiate our bombing from a little bit of the right side of the ship. Maybe that's a little too extreme. Something like this. Okay, good. So let's launch. Now these are tough ones. These uh, stupid dive bombers are kind of hard to gauge. I might not have... I totally botched this. <laughs> I'm not even going to launch the bombs. My hope here is that I can use that aircraft again. Since we didn't actually use the ordnance. No guarantees, of course. We're not sure, but, you know, okay. So, maybe 10 degrees, flank speed, move. Don't launch torpedoes, because we have no idea what this ship is going to do. Yeah, so she's turning back. Probably she has an idea where we are. So we'll move 10 degrees, I guess. Full. And, yeah, we still have the bomber, so let's try... <laughs> Take number two. Take two of our uh, attempt. To... So we need to wait a lot longer. Okay, the bombs will come back a little bit, so let's do it like so. And let's launch. Now, I'm going to try to use this. Maybe let's get a little bit closer. And dive. This looks a lot better. Bombs away. Well, that looks very effective. If she isn't sink from that, I don't know what will, what will sink her. It doesn't look like she's sinking. That's quite impressive. I mean, we've damaged her sonar, so she's not going to be good at spotting our submarines, propulsion, torpedoes, lots of stuff, but not her surface turrets, so it's not a good time for us to surface. Okay, so let's do five degrees, flank speed, move. And she's a little bit far. Let's try to see what her propulsion is like. So let's just wait another turn. Okay, that's a nice movement. If she keeps going like that, well, we hopefully will be able to get a torpedo on her. So let's move 10 degrees, like so. Let's go flank speed. No, full speed, I guess. We did get a torpedo back, so we no longer have airstrike capability. We do have one torpedo, but let's wait see if we can get better effect. I, I just feel like all those bombs landing would just utterly obliterate a destroyer, but I'm not the one who wrote the code for the game, so... Oh, she's spotted us. She's definitely spotted us. Missed, thank god, but that's not a good sign. So, what do we do here? Do we just launch our torpedo and then try to get away? One torpedo, certainly one torpedo. Oh, she's gonna get sonar back next turn, too. Uh, so certainly one torpedo will sink her. It's likely she's gonna turn towards us, though. So let's just kind of gamble. Let's turn towards her, going full, and just kind of gamble that she comes at us. If she does, we, uh, well, We'll have one torpedo to launch. <laughs> it's not a fantastic situation. There's our submarine periscope sticking out. So uh, she's running right over her 
the other people. This is interesting. Oh, that might have hit. I wonder if one of those hit. How are we doing? Nope, we're still okay. Okay, so they are probably too far away. For us to hit with a torpedo barrage. And we want to get wow, I keep I wanted to check if we had two torpedoes that would have been the best time to, to actually engage, but Okay, done. Let's see what she does. Yeah, she turned back. So sometimes they actually do hit you. Yeah, so they actually hit. I they did damage to me. Okay, so now this is probably where we launch our torpedoes. In fact, we might even if we want to just make it a complete gamble, we surface here to get close enough. Yeah, we might do it. How far away are they? 3,200. If we surface, we'll go a lot faster. And that could get us in striking distance of the destroyer. Otherwise, we just launch our torpedoes and pray that we hit. Now she's moving really slow, so I think we don't do that. Let's just move flank speed. Five degree angle. Torpedo reload, good. So we're gonna get two torpedoes off on her anyway. She's moving slowish, so let's send one here to make sure that even if she turns, we hit her. And one here so that even if she uh, doesn't turn, we hit her. Torpedoes away. good position, I think, to <laughs> land some hits next turn. Now, let's see. I'm actually going to surface with this ship just to try to give her a different target. It's crazy, right? But I, I, I find that these ships normally... I, I mean, I, I need to spread the damage around. They're both going back to port together anyways because they're, they're buddies. This is the buddy system. So it's not like... I might as well use as many torpedoes or as much hull damage as I can on this one in order to save the other one, because they're both going back to port. So let's fire our AP shells. Let's just pretend that 10, elevation of 10 is correct. How do we do? Oh! Did that sink her? I'm waiting. Perfect hit. Thank the... Very accurate. Okay, they turned. Oh, they did launch, they did attack our surface submarine. Fantastic. And that's the end of her. Perfect. So good teamwork by the submarines, and we got out of there with two more destroyer kills. Really good. I put this about the 13 minute video, uh, mark for the video, and I'm not going to have time probably to stay for... Oh, they both had light damage, so that last shot actually did do a little bit of damage. Okay, but that's completely fair. Like I said, we saved this one from getting medium damage. And since I'm using the buddy system, they're both going back to port. Oh, okay, now it says it's not true. <laughs> now it claims that that other one didn't get hit, so we'll move them out. In fact, we wanted to move them out anyway because we are just about ready to move our huge surface fleet in. And we see that air superiority is... Uh, goes to the Germans, which is what I was hoping. Okay, so where are the... F Let's move this one back up. Good. We're kind of in the middle of Gibraltar, so it for forces them to make some decisions. These guys are going back to port. We have our destroyer here. Let's get this guy to move over. Um, let's go escort our heavy cruiser. I guess it doesn't make a difference. We could have just waited in port because next turn <laughs> we're going to... She can't move here until next turn anyways, and I'm not going to move over here, so it didn't, didn't make a difference, but that's fine. I think we have all the squares we need covered, all the sea zones covered. But the one exception being these guys are heading back. Okay, good. So that's fine. And uh, I think we have three ships available. We might even consider building some more submarines in the time being just to get two more subs down here which I would like. Should we do it though? I mean, um, okay, so we have three ships available. We can't build any more Sharn Horse class because like again, my gripe about this game is that it doesn't allow you to build 
any non-historical ships except for the H-39. For some reason you can build these non-historical ships, but you cannot build them more Sharn Horse class than or already than already existed in history. So these aren't available for uh, a long time, good nine months or so. Okay, we could get a Deutschland class. Um, I don't think I need any more heavy cruisers. They're not effective for what I want to accomplish, really. Um, same. The Prince Eugen. That's a famous one. I think she was the one with the Bismarck, right? Okay. Konsberg. Good ship. Yeah, I think we're even okay. We have a lot of renown, so let's just keep pooling the renown and hopefully eventually get some Bismarck classes out there. That would be a lot of fun. So let's do that. We're doing okay with the uh, submarine presence as it is. Okay, so next turn. Good, now these guys can merge together. Uh, and everybody else is probably okay where they, were, the where, where they are, except for these guys need to move back to port as well. See, with the surface fleets, we have to go well around, but these guys just kind of blitz through the English Channel. Okay, next turn. Good. Nobody uh, was attacked. <laughs> Let's get some of uh... the... Actually, these guys can stay there. That's kind of where I want them to be anyway. So, let's go to the shipyard and get these guys to be repaired and rearmed as well. So, two more turns. Everybody's back out. Good. Okay, next turn again. One of the submarines is done, but buddy system, so he'll wait. Maybe these guys, let's, since there's no convoys here, let's just move these guys out. Let's move them down here. Oh, okay, so... Ah, our first carrier engagement. Wow, this is exciting. Um, I think it's since we've gone 17 minutes in this video, I'm just going to make this a little bit of a shorter video. Um, so we'll just cut it short here, and we'll do this attack in the next video. So, thanks for watching this kind of short video. We did sync those two destroyers. And stay tuned next time for our first look at aircraft carriers, aircraft carriers in Atlantic Fleet. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.